Whether you guys know it or not, I never took a pause in this rap game. I just been on my clock and my time. This is Poker the Paper Girl, and I'm taking you beyond the music. Well, I'm from Bronx, New York, 233rd and White Plains. Right near them red lines, two in the five. Well, I've been rapping for um, about 15 years now. It started off as a hobby, but then um, I began taking it as serious as, I guess, a common person's regular nine to five. To go quite back, I've worked with uh, Miss Melanie. I've worked with DJ Reg West, uh, who was Little Kim's backup DJ. I've worked with Chris and Michelle. Name speaks for itself. I worked with Sky Zoo. I've worked with Panama. Uh, Panama was on the wire, and he's actually having a very fruitful career. Sky Zoo is currently signing Duck Down. I've also worked with Esso, which is one of um, Harlem's best underground uh, MCs current to date. It's just safe to say that I've worked with a lot of people that have helped me, um, you know, mold myself as an artist. If I forgot you, then I'm sorry, and let's just do another song. I don't want to jinx myself. I want to work with a lot of people, you know, um, but anybody that matches my caliber. You know, I'm, I'm not trying to rap with. With, with people that don't compliment the brand, they don't compliment, you know, what I'm trying to convey. My thoughts on the current state of the rap game, um, I feel like the rap game is, is at a different place right now, and it's, uh, it's, it's, a, uh, it's fair game. You know, I believe, like, artists like Kanye West and artists, um, a lot of good music artists, um, coincidentally, like, uh, Kid Cudi and etc. just, have now been able to come out and be themselves. It's not about being that gangster. It's not about being this openly pretty boy. It's just about being you. If you're weird, then you come out being weird. If you're openly artistic, you come through being artistic. And I think that opens up a lane for people like me. Because I'm not the regular female rapper. I don't have any booty shots. I don't have any breast implants. I don't have a dude with some extra tracks and this poker paper girl with some dreads, some dope jeans and some Adidas on. And the kind of state of the rap game is ready for me. <laughs> That's it. How do I separate myself from other artists? That's simple, that's lyrical content. Um, everybody could dress nice, everybody could deem to have swag, but not everybody can pick up the pen or can kind of formulate, you know, words worth listening to. Name some things that people don't know about me. Uh, I guess when you look at a whole lot of pictures and you go to my social networks and stuff, you probably think that I'm like this social butterfly. It is complete opposite. I wish I was, I'm working on it. But um, I'm very much so to myself and I usually speak through my music. And um, I like me time. You know, um, I like doing self-fulfilling things that, you know, that, that make me happy. I'm not all about just being around people to just give me praise. I just, I like self, you know, I guess, satisfaction like I stated. Something else people probably don't know about me is that I'm actually a rapper with an education and I'm not ashamed of it. Like you see stories like when um, people try to out artists or out celebrities with certain things that they're trying to keep in the tuck or their PR is. I graduated from college, from Morgan State, got my business management degree. I'm happy about it. I wasn't the best student, but I had over a 2.5 and it's made me a better all around artist and a businesswoman. And I'm not ashamed of it. Um, actually, I feel quite accomplished. I was the first woman in my family to actually get that degree. He was just rocking with me. Yours truly, Poker the Paper Girl. Beyond the Music Part 1. It's gonna keep on coming. It's gonna keep on coming. It's gonna keep on coming. And I talk shit because I can back it up. That's it.